Oh, there we go. Oh, dog poop. This gets deep, man, as well. I can't really paddle. Oh, I can just, just paddle without getting my feet wet. Oh, right up. But the dugout, two holes just here, big deep holes. This is getting deeper. Ugh. So yeah, dug out two big holes just here to make these lakes, but it's supposed to prevent this from happening. But I just think how many million that cost the council. Or a waste of a couple of million it probably was. Well, it was. <laughs> so, uh, Yeah. Oh, stop careful, kids there. This is slip that wall my bike just went. So, yeah. This is the stuff we have to deal with. And then what route to take to the allotment. This is these are sometimes the struggles. I would ride through that, it's not that deep underneath because I've dug it all out here you just get big clumps of clay stuck to your tyre on where it's streaming over this bank here so uh, it's about six foot deep there then about it's supposed to be about six foot deep there as well but it's just got turned into a stream now so uh, yeah one of the struggles to the allotment and I've got wet brakes well made it down here dried my brakes out just after that little clip you seen as unfortunately some of the struggles I have to uh, go through on the route to the allotment. I don't really, I know there's other ways I can go that I haven't got all that issue, but it's just personally, it's a route I like to take down the canal or, you know, along them routes. So, yeah, I thought I'd uh, take you along the journey here, to be honest, a little bit. Um, yeah, but she's uh, very muddy, as you can tell. So, a nice clean when she gets home. But, uh, yeah, just come down today, to be honest with you guys. Um, just have a look around, really. Um and to pick up a nice big length of hose pipe. Um, well, it's pond pond pipe, should I say. Because um, I'm actually helping my landlord at the moment, just quickly helping him uh, empty a pond out because he's scared of the frogs and the fish and all that. So, But hey, it's doing, some people like it, some people don't. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, so help him out. But with the hose I've got, it's going to make the job a lot quicker. Hopefully I can uh, get rid of the ponds for him very soon. Um, so yeah, but everything's looking all right. The uh, garlic there looking nice. Foxes seem to be staying away still. Just need to lift the arms up on that scarecrow thing. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I might actually, for once, grow some nice Casablanca garlic, guys. So and that'll be a first because last year's failed. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, don't think I'm going to get anything on the Brussels because they just don't seem to be getting any size to them or anything. So, apart from the ones over the back here, they seem to be getting a little bit bigger, but they're not huge. You know, I was given them, they're already kind of leggy when they were given to me. So, it was kind of plant them and see what happens. Uh, so, yeah. But I'm not fussed, guys. Really not fussed. Um, yeah, just have to see what happens. Leave them in a little bit longer. But yeah, the rest of the plot's not looking too bad. The grass is staying at a reasonable length now. The winter's kicked in, so don't really. I'm going to give it one more. Well, no, I won't even cut it now till next next season um, because I don't want to kill it off. Not that you can kill it off by doing it now, but I wouldn't want to risk it really. Open it up to frost damage and stuff. But yeah, I've got a lot of work to do, guys. I'll be honest. I've not really been around. I've not really been down here at all. Uh, that's why everything looks the same as the last video. I've had a lot going on, guys. Some of you know, some of you don't. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it, but not right now. Um, but yeah, so you know, I'm hoping next couple of weeks I'm going to be down here, get all of this dug over. I need to get a big magnet and just go through that fire heap and get out any metal particles and screws and stuff that were burnt off from all the timber. Um, whilst I was down here, I nipped down two days ago, I think it was. Um, but I've shown you last time I got a load of leaves. Um, so what I've done is I've actually put the leaves in there, but I put one bag in and then I've used the soil and stuff that was in there that was absolutely caked up in red worms. I've put a layer then another bag of leaves and then another layer of the compost into there another bag of leaves so on and so forth um because the amount of red worms in it i want it to break down quickly so so that bin's now full at the minute um it has gone down a little bit so i'm hoping i can probably get 
another bag in there. Yeah, I can get another bag of leaves in there at least. Um, but yeah, all it is is just the uh, the remnants of the old stuff from out that bin. So yeah, there's plenty of red worm in there and stuff. So uh, yeah, I just have to see how it goes, guys, to be honest. Um, I'm not really going to fascinate over heat or anything like that out of it. It's just, you know, just there to mould down. Um, but yeah, the O's I've actually come down to get is this stuff just here. Really thick, heavy-duty pond hose. It's quite thick. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's going to make the job uh, a lot, lot quicker to get done and drain it all down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut a length for that off. And then I'm probably just going to go back home, to be honest. It's too cold for my liking. It's getting dark, um, as you can tell, because the moon's out over there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head back home. And I'll probably nip in the shed, guys, actually, and just show you guys what I'm working on at the moment at home and just, you know, what I'm doing behind the scenes as such, away from the allotment. I need to get rid of these um, pepper plants, but I'm not trying to save some seed from them, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I've got a lot to do down here, but I just need to get my focus back and... Uh, me drive back and then come back down here and absolutely smash it guys so yeah i shall see see you very shortly in the shed right so here we are at the uh in the back garden shed um don't think i've actually ever brought you guys in here from truthful don't believe i have um something i've been working on for quite a bit of time to be honest now, i'm sorry if i'm talking a little bit quiet but obviously i've got neighbors so i want to be a bit respectful now i'm outside um you know, I don't like to upset my neighbours whatsoever. Um, now, yeah, I've been working on this for probably the past six months or something, just on and off the shed, building the shelf work. I mean, I've got that metal shelf unit free around the corner. Someone was chucking out, so I've incorporated it. They're just plastic shelf units either side there, but I've just built over them and stuff. So, But everything's solid. Nothing's going to move anywhere. I can stand on that bench and it don't, don't really affect out. But, yeah, so, yeah, this is, this is my shed, guys. <laughs> like, yeah, so... Quite happy. Um, it's getting there, slowly but surely. I've still got work to do around here. That's my old fixie bike. Obviously, you can see my wheels at the top there for this bike. Um, and my suspension forks. Um, now, what I've been doing, to be honest with you guys, um, whilst I've not been at the allotment, is working on this frame just here. Um, now, the lighting probably doesn't help the situation. Um, but as you can tell, I'm uh, yeah, trying to chrome it off, basically. Um, I've had a few days off of it now, so I'm probably going to get on with just a little bit more tonight, to be honest, and just uh, see if I can get like just like the really faint lines. You know, see, like the little faint. Oh, that's the problem when you touch it after you've chromed it. But you can see like the little faint lines. So try and get rid of all of that. Um, around the front side, it's it's pretty clear, and around the other side as well. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty happy with how it's turning out. It's just a project, but it's just a bit of fun. Um, <clears throat> not really. Don't really want to spend a lot on it, but unfortunately I may have to buy a new set of forks because them ones I think might have shot it. I'm going to strip them, service them, see if I can resalvage them without having to spend or anything. Yeah, as you can see, my allotment books at the side. <laughs> That's when I'm taking little breaks in here. I'll just sit and have a little read if there's something that pops in my head for the allotment. Um, but yeah, so that's one of my projects I'll be working on. Um, and the other one that you guys seen on the video last time was the wash basket. Um, now, with this, I'll be truthful. It is all hand built, no machines used. Um, you know, all my, all these joints and stuff are done by hand, and the edges and the corners. I did mess up, cut it a bit short. This ain't perfect at all. This is just a demo version of what I built. Um, these little things are going to sit on there basically, and so we know which way around to put the lid. Um, yeah, I fabricated it all off underneath, and obviously it's varnish on it as well. So uh, yeah, that's all topped off. But basically, all I started off with was. Uh, this framework just here that you can see. I'm sorry about the shadowing, but it is only a shed light. Um, but yeah, all that framework that runs across the top. And I've just basically used the skeleton of an old wash basket that was uh, coated in like, like a wicker kind of thing. I'll, I'll put a little picture just now um, as to what it was when I started. And I'll probably just put a few more pictures in actually. Um, but yeah, that's like kind of the progress of how it was built up. And this is now how it's turned out. So... Uh, yeah, uh, what I'm planning to do with the lid is to put these little items here. Um, let me just switch that light back on for two seconds, might help. Yeah, these two little uh, bits just here. Glue them, glue them on. 
Oh, I'm not, not not put them straight, but uh, yeah, put them on. You get the idea. Um, and you know the little tiny gemstones. As I'm actually thinking of getting the little tiny gemstones, some clear ones and some blue ones, using some kind of sand as, on the base, and then using the um, it's like a clear clear coat you put over it. Not it's a resin. Sorry, that's the word resin which I've never used myself my sister has used it before so I'm hoping to lay some sand in there put a load of them gemstones in and then put resin over the top and then obviously polish it all off and that's the top done as well but nice strong handles and as I've pulled the handles through I've literally split the rope that way that way and that way kind of thing so that it's you know nice and sturdy the, the curl's not going to undo um so yeah I, i'm pleased with it for a first time ever building my own wash basket and it's come up really neat underneath as well so yeah plenty of staples so i oh, don't bother me though it's part of the uh shows it's done by hand as well but it all sits lovely and flush on the top the only thing i do wish is that i'd done this the other way around because that black marking across the front there really annoyed me but that's just me <laughs> So yeah, and I'll just, you know, for a pound for these little letters from a local shop, stuck them on a bit of wood, stuck that to the wash basket just to give it a little bit of an effect and then uh, ordered you know, a pack of five or six of these and yeah, that's how that's looking. This was also a uh, a bird box that I was working on um, a little while ago and yeah, just never really got around to finishing it, to be honest. It's got a proper little chimney on as well and uh, yeah, I basically ended up making this birdhouse. Um, from an old uh, kid's doll's house that my daughter had. The, she like The door broke on it and my mum brought it a years ago. And uh, yeah, she kind of just battered it and yeah, I dismantled it and used the different coloured bits of wood to kind of, yeah, spruce, make a little bird box, spruce it up. All it really needs to be done is, like, I've done the window this side, I just need to do the window that side. Um, and then I just need to pop a base in, which I've not put a base in just yet, but I want the base so I can take the base off and clear it out as and when. And uh, keep it looking good really whether I take it to the allotment or whether I leave it at home I'm not too sure yet but yeah it did really well <coughs> with uh, on one of the DIY pages on Facebook but yeah it's, it's quite nice it's quite it's not a bird box you see every day um, but yeah that's the kind of things I uh, do guys in my spare time so I just thought I'd bring you back into the shed and just show you guys you know exactly what it is when I'm not on on the allotment to be truthful um, and yeah, this is yeah, this is my little uh, my little man cave in the garden. It needs a little bit of a tidy up at the minute. I mean, I've got all these like plug trays and stuff that I need to take down the allotment and other bits and bobs. But obviously, we're not driving and only having the push bike to rely on. It's uh, you know, it's quite tough. Um, so just relying on family really. It's good I've got a nice family and yeah, they help out as much as they can. So on that note, guys, because I don't want to make the video too long because this is probably at about 12 minutes long already. I'm going to leave it there. If you are interested in seeing these kind of things more often, what I do and what I'm building or what I'm working on, like, let us know in the comments. It would be appreciated. If I don't reply back to your comment, I do apologise, but I will put a, obviously, heart your comment and uh, leave a like. Um, you know, and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. It's just, I'm a very busy-minded person. I'm always doing something. So it's getting back to the comments, which I'm not too good at, and I thank you guys for being perseverant and, uh, yeah you know but thank you <laughs> so yeah on that note guys i'm gonna leave it there and hopefully i should update you with another allotment video very shortly so for now take care bye bye